Hey, Convergence, this is Pastor Aaron here, and we're on week two of our 21-day fast. Guys, the time is flying. I can't believe we're already on week two. And I just, I know that God's already been speaking to you and that different things have been brewing on the inside of you. And I'm super excited to encourage you today, guys. Um, well, first, I just wanted to encourage you, just as the kids, Pastor, I want to encourage uh, moms and dads out there, let's invite our kids into this reality and let them experience God in that just the way we're personally leaning in, we want to lean in as a family. And I just want to encourage you of just what that can look like, right? Because for instance, I have a three and a half year old and I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, oh, no lunch. Okay. Because if I, she's not going to quite understand it, you know? So what we want to do is we want to look at where our kids are at and actually like let them experience uh, what we're doing here. All right. So fasting is not just fasting, but it's feasting too. Right. So it might be like, we turn off the TV earlier than normal. And maybe we have a family meeting that doesn't always happen. Right? And we can even look at our pamphlet. You guys have the pamphlet? Uh, one of the, the verses we text you today was Hebrews 11.1. 1. You can bring your kids around. Read Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the reality of what is hoped for. The proof of what is not seen. Right? Even such a small verse like that. And you can have a family conversation. Like what does that mean? And you can even say like as... You know, as dad, I can start and be like, well, for me in my day, this is what it looks like. What about you, mom? What about you, kid number one, kid number two? You know, whatever your kids' names are. I am sure those aren't their names. But like, I just want to encourage you, like have a family conversation about it. And like, uh, and really what we're doing is we're inviting them into the experience of this 21 day fast, but it's on their level, right? So for me personally, uh, Different people land different places. I'm never going to force a kid to like fast or skip meals because like God doesn't do that to me. <laughs> you know, he tells me what I wants me to do and I am obedient and if there's a yes or no. So I'm not a big fan of like none of us are eating dinner tonight because you're part of my family. I'm, you know, uh, I'm more like uh, I want if there's grace on what God's telling me to do and there's grace on what my kids are able to do. But I want to invite them into it because one thing I've noticed over the years is experience creates hunger, right? There's a reason there's free samples all over Costco. You try a little bit, you want to buy the whole thing, right? So we want what we want to do is we want our kids to experience the goodness of what God's doing, experience the goodness of His Word, and you can do that with a family discussion, and they're going to naturally want more. And I promise you, if you talk to your kids about fasting, right, they're going to want to do it, right? You have an elementary schooler, you know, maybe my three-year-old, maybe not so much, but like you have an elementary schooler, you explain to them about it, they feel it, they have that discussion. I guarantee you, if you give them the option, they're going to choose to fast something, whether it's a, a YouTube show or like a dessert or whatever, right? And we, and we want to like grow that. What we're doing here is we're growing a culture, right? So I just want to encourage you, like make it practical, make it fun, you know? Don't be that guy who's walking around with like a crazy face because you're starving. That's not what fasting is about, right? It's, there's a joy in like feasting on God and there's a joy in the leaning forward and the leaning in. So I just wanted to bless you with that. Please share this with others. Um, I'm super excited to worship with you all on Sunday. Um, and as we're just unwavering, unwavering is our, is our mandate right now. And uh, in your unwavering devotion to family, let's just like lean in and let God meet you there, all right? Thank you so much. God bless.